Hi, this is Kim Peck at My Stamping Garage. Um, today I am going to show you how to make the cards in the September kit. So I'm going to step you through those quickly. Here's the first one. And these are all made with the Memories and More card bases and card packets. Um, the card packet is the flowers for every season. The packet you're going to get looks like this, and you will have a flyer in there with a picture of each card as well. So let's start with number one. Your um, This baggie has the adhesive, the extra adhesives you need besides your normal adhesive. So it's got your Stampin' Dimensionals and your glue dots in it. It's also got um, the sticker sheets that you're going to need and the word sheets. We're going to use a couple of the words out of here. So you need something to cut those apart. Um, and... I'm just going to use scissors, or you could use your um, cutter. If you want a really straight line, use your cutter. Um, and I'll show you that when we get to those. But this is everything you're going to need besides what's in your little baggie. And each baggie for each card is labeled. So this one has a one on it. And you're also going to find your card bases here. So your instructions should tell you what color of card base to use for each card. And for this first one, so you're going to open this. It has the matching envelopes in there as well. So there's 10 card bases with 10 matching envelopes. And for this first one, we're going to use the magenta. And the envelopes have matching liners. So that's kind of fun. Okay. So for this first one, we're going to use this magenta. You're going to just fold the card base. And then all of your things that you need to finish this should be inside this bag or on one of those sticker sheets. Okay, so for this one, you're going to get two vellum square doilies. And those you're going to put on. And I would strongly recommend you have some um, liquid glue when you're doing this one because there's a couple of die cuts you're going to have to put on that are kind of skinny. Um, with this one, because there's going to be part of this that's not showing, I can just use my regular adhesive and then I'm going to put just a little bit up in that corner. Okay, so I'll apply that one and this stuff will be covered so the fact that there's a little bit showing there doesn't really matter. And, and just a tiny piece there and I'll put that in the lower corner. So you start with those two. Next, you're going to put on the little card here. And for this, you're going to use some dimensionals. And I would say use the least number of dimensionals that you can get away with. So for this one, I'm actually just going to put one in each corner. That way it has a little more give if you're going to mail this. It won't stick up as high and you might not have to pay extra postage that way. So take the backing off of that. Put that here. And if you do get a little extra adhesive showing, this adhesive comes off pretty easily. I don't know what you're using, but um, for the, the stamp and seal, it comes off pretty easily with a fingertip or with an adhesive eraser. And then you're also going to need a glue dot. And those are included in your packet. And you're going to put your bow up in the corner. And then if you just want to leave it like that, you can. Um, I added the and celebrate, and those are stickers. So I'm just going to pull the and and the celebrate. And kind of when you go to put the sticker down, kind of let it do its own thing so it'll line up the way it's supposed to. If you try to force it in places, it may be kind of crooked when you get done. But that's the first card. Okay, now for the second card, I'm going to put my sticker sheets aside again. In this packet, is everything we need for the second card, and I'll show you what it looks like. It is this one, the Feeling Fest and then I put the happy holidays at the bottom but you could again leave that off and just have it feeling festive and you could use it for something else so um, you're going to need the misty moonlight card base for this one so I've got that right here fold it 
I like these card bases because they also have this little line. It just adds a little extra texture to the whole look. I'm going to use this small card. And these little card things that I'm using all came in that Memories and More um, card kit, the Flowers for Every Season. You will have a few extras in your kit. Um, I gave you a half a package, uh, so if there were some left over, they're in your kit. You can use them for other projects. These can be used for um, scrapbooking as well as card making. So, okay, again, I'm going to put my dimensionals. And you're going to be kind of tight on dimensionals, so you might have to use the edge pieces as well. Um, I kind of cut them into thirds when I sent them out. So there's your feeling festive. You're going to use a glue dot for the bow. And remember, it's always better to put your bow against the glue dot instead of trying to take it off with your fingertips because they really like fingernails. And I did pre-tie the bows. You may have to tighten them up a little bit. And then, oh, I forgot my pick tool, but I'm going to use my scissors. I'm just going to add the little champagne rhinestones. I love these. They go so well with almost everything I do, so I use them a lot. You should have enough in each bag for each project. And I think I'll put that right about there. And then if you want to add the Happy Holidays, what I did was I took one of these card bases and my Happy Holidays is right here. So normally I would use my um, cutter but I forgot to bring it out here, so I'm just gonna free cut this. And that way, if you don't have a cutter, you can see that you can easily just free cut it. And I'm gonna cut there. And then I just added this to the bottom. So I'm gonna put some adhesive and add this to the bottom of my card. And there is your second card. Okay, we're going to move on, and at any point, if you're still working, just pause the video and then you can catch up. I'm just going to keep going so that this video isn't an hour long. So this is for the third card. Get everything out of my baggie. Okay, and the third card looks like this. And so you're going to use the yellow bumblebee, it's, the color is called bumblebee, um, for my base. And this card goes this direction. This time I'm going to just put this card down flat, right inside those lines. And then I am going to use a glue dot again for the bow. And anytime you don't want to put the bow on that I put on, you know I'm a ribbon person, so... If you don't like bows or you're going to mail it and you think it's going to be in the way, just don't put it on. It'll look fine. Okay, I'm going to add the bow to the corner. You might want to tighten these before you stick them on. There we go. And then for the two daisies, I'm going to put these together so the flower looks a little fuller. You could just put one if you like that look better. Um, I'm going to use a glue dot in between the two layers and I'm going to offset them a little bit so that it kind of fills in and looks a little more like a full daisy. And then I always just kind of push these up a little bit. And for this, I did use a dimensional and this is what I'm talking about using your edge pieces. I don't need a very big one, so I just cut through that and use that edge piece. That way it gives you a few more and they go further. You could cut them all in half if you needed to. I'm going to stick this down in the corner. Then I'm going to add, this is one of the um, enamel dots that come in the suite. Um, I can't remember, playing with patterns, I think they're called, resin dots. And, oh, I apparently pulled the adhesive off of there too. If that happens, you can try to put it back on. If it won't go back on, I think I can get it. Well, no, I'm gonna use my liquid adhesive then. This is the all-purpose glue, and it works pretty well for 
just about anything. And I'm going to put my enamel dot in the middle. And then I have pre-colored. These are regular rhinestones, but if you have the alcohol markers, the Stampin' Blends, you can make them any color you want. So that's how I got them to be pink. I just colored them with those alcohol markers. There are other pink, there's in color enamel dots that I could have used too, but it would have made the price of the kit go up. So I used the less expensive option to keep the price low for you. And there is my finished card. So that was number three. Okay, on to number four. So I'm going to get my little items out of the bag. I guess that's all that's in that bag. So you're going to have this and the three enamel dots. And for this one, I am using the Just Jade card base. I'm going to fold that. Adhere my base. Like so. And then for this one, I used the stickers. Um, I used the Just right here whoops don't want the centerpiece so I put the just right here and then the B down in the corner and the U I tried to use mostly what was in that kit so that if you wanted to reproduce this, you wouldn't have to buy a lot of excess. You could just get the card bases and the um, Memories and More Flowers for All Season cards. And you can repeat this as many times as you need to. I did use a few extra embellishments, but you wouldn't have to put those on. You could get away without them. So here you could just draw these dots in or just not use them at all. And I am having trouble getting under that one. There we go. So there is that card. Oh, and I think, sorry, I didn't show you the card. There's also a sticker with flowers on it. This is what the card is supposed to look like. And I have a little trick to show you. Um, with these, I have an embossing buddy, which is a little pouch with cornstarch inside that takes the sticky off of here. If you don't have that, you could also use um, just a tissue with a little bit of cornstarch um, just to get the sticky not to stick. And I'm going to pop that up with a couple of dimensionals. And I'm going to stick it up here in the corner. Again, if you don't like that sticker on there, don't put it on. So there's number four. Here is number five. And let me show you the card. This is the card base. Or the card for number five. And for this one, we're using the Misty Moonlight card base. And in our bag, it has everything to complete the card. If you want to save those bags, um, the next time I see you, you can give them back to me. I'll recycle them and use them again. If not, use them for whatever you would like. I tried to use more paper than plastic because this one takes a lot of bags, but I think I'm out of my paper, so from here on it'll be the plastic again. Oops, I should have not been talking. Um, with this one, thankfully that adhesive is a little forgiving in the beginning. I'm going to take that back up for a second because you do need to put your ribbon on first. So this ribbon is going to stretch across here and you're going to adhere it on the back. I also like to add just a little adhesive to the middle so that it stays where it's supposed to. But the biggest deal is to put it on the edges that are gonna go on the back. Okay. So now, oh, I've got that sticking to everything. I will put that across like so. And then just adhese the back the ends to the back like so. And then usually what I'll do is I'll run my adhesive along that as well just to make sure it sticks well. 
So I've got that in place. There's my card base. And then next I'm going to add this punch that I've done. This is Bumblebee cardstock. And I'm going to put that here. And I have the name of the punch listed on your um, flyer. So everything that I use should be listed there. And then for this, I'm going to add a couple of dimensionals to the back. So this part is popped up. Again, if you don't want to pop it up, don't pop it up. That's fine. And then I'm going to put the thanks. This was pre-cut for you out of the well-written die-cut set. And that's what I used for all the words. If there are little pieces stuck in there, just poke them out with either your scissor tips or if you have a paper piercing tool, that works great. And then I'm going to use a little bit of my liquid glue. And I don't try to go over the whole thing. I just put little dots of adhesive here and there where I need them. Come on. And my adhesive is giving me some trouble. Must be plugged. Okay. Well, in lieu of that, <laughs> I'm going to just add a little bit of adhesive and then just poke it out of the holes. So there's always a way. Normally, I would cut these out with the adhesive backing, and I forgot to do it this time. But when I send out my kits, generally I'll do that so it would be a sticker that you just stick on. And I'll try to remember to do that again the next time. But I had them all cut when I remembered, so I didn't want to waste them. And then I'm going to add my little champagne rhinestones again. So we've got, I put one down here. Generally when I put on little embellishments like this, I try to keep them in a triangular pattern. So that's what I'm doing here. One there. You can put them anywhere you want them or not put them on at all. And last but not least, right there. Okay, so there is card number five. We're halfway there. These cards go really quickly, which is part of the reason I like these kits. You can really put out a lot of cards in a short amount of time. Okay, number six. For number six, it's this card. And I like this set because it has cards for any season. This one is supposed to be Christmas. On the other side of this, there are poinsettias. So if you prefer using that side, you know, when you're designing your own, you absolutely can. Um, so for this one, we're gonna use the Cinnamon Cider card base. And I love this new color. I use this so much, especially this fall. It's a perfect color for fall. It's become one of my new favorites. That's one of the end colors for this year, and it will be around for two years. Okay, so let me move all this stuff out of the way. And in your kit, you're going to have these little, see there's the poinsettia on the back, but I decided to use the other side and have it be a little more subtle. Not quite as Christmas, so that you can use it for other holidays. And then again, I did pop this up. You don't necessarily have to. I'm just going to put three on here just to save because I'm getting down on my dimensionals. So as long as they're in a triangular pattern, it'll keep it from rocking on your card. So you can get away with three. So that evenly distributed with those dots. Again, use a glue dot for my bow. And I got these glue dots out of our paper pumpkin kits. These are how they came for a while. So if you get them from me uh, from the, through Stampin' Up, you'll get them on a roll. So they work just as well, but for this, it was easier to send this kind. Okay, and now this one uses these words again. So I'm going to use the love on this sheet. So you're going to cut that out. And then, let's see, peace. And joy. I 
And with these being straight lines, they're pretty easy to cut out by hand, so. Okay, the love I put directly down flat, so I'm just gonna use my adhesive on there. And I'm gonna put my joy, whoops, that's a little crooked. There we go. Put my joy at the bottom. And this is just a little trick. If you uh, do this, then you can center the piece between the two. And for this one, I'm gonna pop it up. So again, I'm gonna use these little skinny edge pieces or some of yours might have these cut in half. I would use a half of one. I tend to use every part of my dimensionals, so. You could get away with one there but I did do two on mine. Okay, come off for me, there we go. And here's the piece. And then I used the champagne. I like the card just like that, it doesn't necessarily need more, but if you wanna add some bling, I know a lot of us are into bling, so I added a large one on each side. These are the champagne rhinestones again. Can you tell I'm in love with these? <laughs> They're on almost every card. And then the medium size next. And then, last but not least, the little ones. And you could stop at any point. If you don't want more than that, just stop there and save those for another project. Well, that one likes my fingernails, so we'll just go with it. There we go. And last but not least, that one. So there is your finished card. That was card number six. For card number seven, it looks like this. And for this one, I actually put an option of another saying in there because there was another card that would work just as well. So I'm gonna show you that as well. And it is in your baggie. And you can pick which one you use. So for this one, you're going to use the Just Jade card base. And you're going to use this card with the tulips along the edge. And that one goes flat. Before you put it on, though, you're going to want to put your um, ribbon, and I'm putting it so that it comes just along the edge of this. So... Then I can put this down. That'll hold that ribbon in place so I can tie the knot. And just tie a square knot. Or a knot, if you don't know what a square knot is, just tie it into a knot. So there's my knot. I'm gonna cut this little edge off so that it matches. And then for this one, you could either use the You Inspire Me, which is what I did for this card, or you could use On My Mind. So if you don't have anything to anyone to send the You Inspire Me to, this On My Mind works well also. And so I'll do that with this one so that I have one of each. And again, I'm just gonna use three on this. If you wanna have these flat so they mail easier, don't put the dimensionals. Stick that there. And then with this one, because I designed it with the other, I have these in here. With this, I would probably just throw them around as just an extra embellishment so there's not so much empty space. If you know me, I'm not big on leaving empty space. A lot of people like that cleaner look. So if that's you, go for it. So... You have your options there, which card you want to do. So that is card number seven. 
on to card number eight. This is a very quick kit to put together. Uh, for this one, we are going to use, let me show you the card first. This is the card, so we're using the Bumblebee base. And I've got the card in here and the ribbon and everything you need for this one. So there's a lot of pieces in this one, so be careful when you dump them out that you have them all. You should have two of these large resin dots, a small one, the Miss You, the white ribbon, and this punch. And then the other is a sticker. So we're gonna start by putting this one down, but again, you have ribbon to add, so just be sure that you add, I'm gonna put a little adhesive here, and then on the back. And I'm gonna wrap this around. before I put this card down, so. And again, on the back then, I'll take my adhesive across that just to hold it down nice and tight. Put that piece down. And then I did pop this one up with dimensionals, and with this one, I'm just gonna put a couple. I had a little garbage can nearby. I have these everywhere. Okay, and then I'm going to kind of center that in that open space. I'm going to move this ribbon over. It's got kind of a little kink in it. There we go. And then this is a sticker. So you're going to go ahead and take this. And again, if you want to get the sticky off, just use a little cornstarch on the back. Um, but I'm going to put a dimensional on that. And pop it up a little. And then for the Miss You, this is where we're going to use our liquid glue again. And I suggest working on top of a silicon mat. I don't know if my I can get this unclogged or not. I may have to use uh, my adhesive, which will work as well. Let's see if I can get that unclogged. Oh yeah, there we go. Way too much, but Okay, so with this, you just need tiny amounts. So I'm just gonna touch a couple of spots. This glue is very sticky, so you don't need to put a lot. I usually just touch a few areas and leave it at that. And then before I stick that down, I'm gonna get the sticker. It's on this sticker sheet. It's got the blue edges. I'm gonna put that in the middle of my tag like so, and then the miss here, and the U right underneath. And then for that dot on the eye, I'm gonna use one of these little resin dots. I thought it would be easier than trying to fish out all of those little dots from the die cut. Again, this is from the um, well-written die-cut set. And that's Bumblebee cardstock that we used, and that's all on your flyer. And then for the resin dots, I'll put one here and one here. So there is your finished card. And that was card number eight, so just two to go. Okay, so for card number nine, it looks like this. And in your bag, you will have the little pieces you need again. Be careful, there is one little pink dot in there from the in color um, embellishments. So, oh, and then your little rhinestones. For this one, we're gonna use the Magenta, Marvelous Magenta, or Magenta Madness, sorry. Card base. Whoops, I got that little dot stuck to me now. And for this one, we're gonna put the floral, pink floral card in the corner. I 
and I always leave an even amount around the edges. And then for this one, I'm actually going to put this one down flat. And this was done with the um, stitch rectangle dies. You know me, I love that die set. I use it all the time. And I'm going to lay that flat since I'm going to pop my flowers up. And then we've got the birthday, which is also from that well-written die set. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of adhesive on the back with my liquid glue. And I'm really trying to stress just a little bit. This glue goes a long way and it's very sticky, so um, you don't need much of it at all. I'm going to put, and that is the um, all-purpose adhesive from Stampin' Up, but if you have another glue, that's fine too. Just again, go sparingly because these are really thin dyes. And then since my pink dot already came off on my finger, <laughs> I'm just going to go and put that on the birthday. And then the wishes is another sticker. So it's on your sticker sheet. It's right here. Be really careful with that W because it has a tendency to want to go all crazy on you. And it'll rip if you're not careful. So, And then I'm just going to line it up so that the H is just beside the Y that's hanging down, not, not at the same point. And again, kind of let the sticker do its own thing. Now with this, there is a dot. And I found the best way to get the dot for the eye out is probably with a paper piercing tool or the tip of your scissors. So there's my wishes. And then I'm going to add this sticker. It's got the roses on it. And I did pop this up. Two dimensionals. And I'm going to put that right up in the corner. Okay. And then last on this card, I am going to add my rhinestones. If you like it plain, leave it plain. But if you add the rhinestones, again, I just put them in kind of a triangle. And usually it's not a perfect triangle because I like it to look a little more non-symmetrical. There you go. So there is your finished card. That was card number nine. So let's move on to the very last card in this kit. Close my glue because I keep sticking my hand in it. Okay. For this one, this is what your card is going to look like. And everything is in your little baggie again. So I've pulled the card out of the Memories and More pack. And I actually did take the stitched uh, shapes, dies, and I did this. Normally this just comes as a whole thing. And I cut this out so that we could pop this up a little, just for a little extra interest on the card and there are a couple of champagne rhinestones so make sure you get those out of there when you're working on it and this is our last card base the cinnamon cider again and the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to pop this up and this is where this is why I was going a little frugal with these because I'm going to want to put a couple right near the edges here so that it stays popped up. And if you have edge pieces, you can use those, whatever you want to do. And then take the backing off. Okay, and then I'm going to pop that up right so it has even border around the edges. And then I'm going to put this flat between. So just put some adhesive on the back 
stick it through that circle, press that down, and then it'll stay down in while the other is popped up around it. I should have put a dimensional there. So it just gives it a little bit of more interest on the card. And then for these, you can either put this die cut on like this and put your um, thing over the top, but I wanted it to look a little more layered. So I cut these in half. I put this one down first, and you can cut this apart however you need to to get it to work on your card. I put this one down first, and then these two will go kind of around it. So then I'm going to put this guy, which I so wish I would have remembered to put the adhesive sheet on for you. It would have been so much easier, but I just used my regular adhesive there. And then I'm going to, with this one, I think what I'm going to do is put a glue dot up here. So you're going to need a glue dot for your bow and also for this. And with this, I just kind of glue dotted the top and left the other so that they would stick up a bit. Take another glue dot for your bow. Like that. And then you can add these little champagne rhinestones along the bottom under the wishes. I think the rhinestones take longer than making the cards. <laughs> and that is our final card. So you've made it through the entire class. I hope you've enjoyed it. And um, I look forward to hopefully us doing a kit together in October. Have a great day. If you have questions, um, my email is kpexstamp at gmail.com.